Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Lazy Susan. Um, I have taped the back of it and I have sprayed it with primer. <laughs> Chloe, she's having a morning. Um, sprayed it with two coats of primer uh, just so that it doesn't warp because I've had these, they're bamboo and they do warp if you don't primer them or they can warp. So, um, just make sure you get a couple coats of primer on it. I had, I saw on one of the Facebook groups, somebody was saying how we don't give our prices out. So, I'm making these for a craft sale that's coming up. And at the craft sale, I sell them for $65. So, that would be the same for you. Um, but there would be shipping added to that, just depending on where you're at. So... Shipping normally runs anywhere from $15 to $20, depending on area. Anyhow, so that's that. I am getting ready for a show in October, so my pours that I'm doing right now are kind of calculated uh, so that I can get a bunch of stuff done for that. Um, so I have my base mixed up, and my base is just Artist Loft White with Floetrol and some water to thin it out. That is usually my normal base paint if I'm just using my regular uh, paints that are in bottles, which are just glue all and flow troll mix. And I will put my recipe in the description box. But my recipe is basically uh, paint and glue all at equal parts and mix those together. And then I, whew, my spinner's off. And then I thin with, um, or I, I don't thin. Then I add my flow troll to consistency. So it just depends on what consistency I'm looking for. For my bottles, I normally just do a medium consistency. Uh, that works out the best. And then I can thin it if I need to for Dutch pours. Thicken it up a little bit if I want for rain pours. But usually a medium consistency is okay for rain pours. So I know I, I know you guys wish I could give you more accurate calculations. Um, I used to say double the amount, so whatever the amount was with paint and glue all mixed, then you would double that with Floetrol, but sometimes it was coming out too thin. So it's different for every paint you use. So now I just uh, put some cultural in, stir it up, see if it's the consistency I want. Just pop in some bubbles with my torch. Okay, so we are doing a hydrangea uh, bloom today. And I'm going to change things up a little bit with the leaves because I don't really have time to hand paint a lot of leaves on. So I'm going to try, we'll see, <laughs> another experiment. We're going to try and see how it does. Um, with just the regular base, just the regular paints in the bottles. I've done it with blooms, but I haven't done it with just regular paints. So, um, I'm going to do this hydrangea bloom a little bit different than my last one. I want to do three balls together here. Um, so, let's get started. I'm just going to lay down some puddles. Just in a ball shape, because hydrangeas grow in kind of a ball. And I'm putting down my dark blue first, which I'm not really sure what's in that bottle. I think it's Prussian blue, but it looks a little bit grayer. And this is my light blue, Artist Loft. And my white. I have done previous videos on hydrangeas, so um, you can go back and watch those too if you want more 
to see more after this one. All right, I have a balloon blown up, and uh, these balloons are kind of wonky. They get kind of a weird, if you can see that, yeah. So I just kind of go to a different part of the balloon where it's smoother. I didn't blow it up very much. It's a small one. Um, it's not a small balloon, but I didn't blow it up very much. But I did add some water in there just to give it a little bit of weight when I'm kissing. So I have too much base paint here. All right. When they, when they do that, you know you have too much base paint. So I'm going to take that off of there. No big deal. I'm going to pour some more on. And let's get some of this base paint off of here. You don't want to have too much on there because you're, um, you know, you're using a balloon to dip. So you want to get that definition. If you have too much base paint on it, you won't get the definition. So let's get that off of there. You just want to tilt until you're not seeing a bunch of a bunch of movement. Okay, I think that's better. I still want to pour off a little bit on that side because I don't want that blue there. Come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure I get you back in the frame here. All right, let's try that again. And I think I'm going to start, I normally, I don't know why I went with the dark blue first, but I, I normally start with the light blue, so. I want the light blue to be kind of my main color, so. All right, then we'll go in with the darker blue, which I believe is Prussian blue. Maybe with some iridescent mixed in with it. There's no, uh, you know, for sure you have to do this with these. You just kind of uh, wing it. You know, it's just a puddle pour with a balloon kiss. And because I'm using harmonious colors, there's not, it's not gonna make mud. So you can go in um, and re-dip with your balloon. Okay, I still have too much base paint on there, but it'll be okay. I'm just going to continue, and as that settles, I'll pick up some more paint. That's just how you have to do these. Hopefully you guys are getting all this. Okay. I haven't done these in a while, so I might be a little rusty. It may take me a few smashes to get what I'm looking for. And sometimes you have to go back in and add more color uh, just to get what you like. Your eye will tell you what you are looking for and what you like and what you don't like. So trust your gut. I 
I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with the leaves. So I've got two there, so we're going to go in with one more. I like to try and do groupings of odd numbers. They're always more pleasing to the eye. If you're going to do even numbers, they have a, you almost have to be exact about them. So, as far as symmetry goes. Trying to be really light with the white, adding the white. Since we have a lot of white in the base. Now I'm just dipping and getting some of that paint off of there. You can see the colors are coming up through. Eventually. <laughs> just down and back up. Really simple. Leave that one alone for now. Let's get some paint off of this one. Remember, you're trying to keep it in a circular shape, and you're trying to get those uh, petals that you would have on a hydrangea. So when you start getting down to where you've gotten some of the paint off of there, then you want to start working on what would be your petals. So I'm starting to get some petal looking flowers in here, petal looking, <laughs> does that even make sense? See how you can start seeing the flower shape. That's what I meant to say was the flower shape. I'm gonna get some paper towels out because I gotta get, have something to wipe on here. Okay. So we're starting to see more definition here. So I'm going to move on to this one, get some of this paint off. Colors look pretty. Just down and up. Pretty simple. What I'll do too is if I have, uh, you know, to make them kind of spread out is do a little bit of rolling there and not wiping once you get, you know, some of the paint off just to get more of a, um, you know, to broaden your circle draw some of those colors out. And you can 
can see you're starting, I'm starting to get more definition on that one. So much happier with that. Let's go back over here. Remember, if you're pulling up and it's dripping, you have too much paint there still. So just, you know, keep wiping every so often. Get some of that off of there. I'm going to put a little bit of blue, a lighter blue, because I am feel like I've lost it in this one a little bit. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to put some on the balloon, too, so I don't make sure I get it, that it stays. Very lightly touching that, because I want to keep that color there. Put a little bit of the darker blue. Okay. Don't need them to be perfect, but you don't want them to be too messy either. And I like with my hydrangeas some negative space, so I try to keep, um, not make the whole thing a hydrangea. Still got a lot of paint on this one, so I'm just trying to get some of that off. Just super light tapping. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more paint color in this one because as you can see these two have more definition in them. So you can always go back in and, and add. Okay, I'm going to pause this right here. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes and I'm going to come back in. I just want to let those paints uh, settle a little bit so they're not so um, runny and then we'll get more definition of the flowers. So be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. I did a few dips here just to see if it was good now, and it is. So I'm just going to go in and do a few dips just to give them some more definition. I'm going to add paint where, I'm, where it needs to be added. If there's not enough contrast there, I'm just going to add a little bit of paint. Anywhere I see squigglies, um, means there was too much paint there. I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. Much better. So sometimes you just have to walk away from them. Give them a few minutes. Just to let that paint dry a little bit. Sometimes if it's too wet, and then it's just enough to give you that petal definition that you're looking for. Sometimes I'm just rolling a little bit on the edges to, to fan the flower out a little bit. Just go back in and dip around. Voila. All right, I'm not gonna worry too much about the drips around the edges because we're going to go in now and do some green for leaves. Um, I am going to use a little bit of dark green, but I'm going to try and keep these on the lighter side. So I'm just going to add some puddles here. I'm going to try this first and see how it does. That was a gold green that I mixed up on my own just by adding some 24 karat to either, I think it was sap green I added it to. And then just a teeny tiny bit of the darker green. And let's give this a blow and see what we get. Oh yeah, pretty, okay. A little bit darker than I wanted, but I have a skewer here somewhere. Just get that a little bit of skewer through it. You can also go in and do, um, you know, pull your leaves in a little bit to give them a little bit more definition. All right, and then I think I'm going to dip and then dip over the end of that just to uh, incorporate it into the flower a little bit more. My curiosity too is to see how much these move because the paint is a lot thinner. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. It'll save me a lot of time later on having to go back in and um, do those leaves by hand. Because that is very time consuming.
just give that a little bit of dip, just to incorporate that flower or green into that. I also go in um, just to add a little bit of green into the flower itself, because hydrangeas have that, so I'll just go in and finger dip that little bit of green in there. Just to give a touch of touch of greenery in there. Okay. And then the last thing I do is I go in with the darker blue and just add centers to those flowers. So you have to be really careful with this because you don't want to get too much, but find your blooms where they need a center and just do that. The blue will sink. And uh, if it doesn't sink enough for you, then you can go in and again, just dip with your finger. I actually like to dip without a glove on, just my natural finger. The gloves kind of interfere sometimes, so you can just give them a little dip with your finger, and that gives you a center without being too obvious about it. So. All right, so that's pretty much how I do my hydrangeas. Um, I'm not going to, you know, continue on with everything because it's going to be tedious. So you get the general idea and uh, I will definitely show you a close up at the end. Um, and I'll also show you the dried, what the dried results of it. So hope you guys have a great day. Uh, take care. Have a, actually have a good week. Please like, share and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And uh, yeah, I'll show you this at the end, what it looks like. Take care. Okay. So here are the dried results, or not dried results. There's are the wet results. So you can see those, the more detail. I went in, hang on just a second. I need to turn one of these lights off. Okay. I went in with a the end of my skewer. Oh, sorry. My finger got in the way. Um, and just did some dots in there. Those will sink a little bit too. So I will definitely show you the dried results. Beautiful little flowers there. I think that my paints, still I have too much base paint down, and I think my paints were a little too uh, thinned out in the bottles. So, uh, but I think this will still be pretty when it's dry, and I'll definitely put a clip on the end of what it looks like dried, and I'm happy with the leaves, and I didn't have to hand paint them, so <laughs> even better. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.